$25,000. The top five make the final here. Scratch the seven. Penn Pronto, sick. Trotters are lined up. Field of six. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Incredible Hawk is trying to leave out of there under whip taps. Uh, Muscle King on the outside. The favorite with uh, Cat Fancy. Uh, Mr. Eero from the inside around the first turn now. And it's uh, Incredible Hulk assuming command here. Muscle King pressing on the outside. Trotting on and looking for the lead and will get it. Supplemental entry. Mr. Eero is back in third spot now in gap at two. Bet on Bob is in the fourth position heading towards the quarter. Sugar Trader is fifth at this point and Hell of a Hush is sixth and they're single file gapped out here at the quarter. Muscle King in uh, 28 and three. Not much pace up front here. Off the turn and down the back stretch. Muscle King a comfortable length and a half uh, leader down the back stretch with the Catman. Incredible Hulk is second. Off stride with Bet on Bob. Bet on Bob is on a break now. Mr. Eero is close up in third now as the gaps fill, the top three anyway, gap at two lengths, and uh, Sugar Trader is closing in, is fourth now and a little closer. Then it's Hell of a Hush, uh, followed by the breaker, Bet on Bob, far back. So it's Muscle King at three to five, just waltzing along up front here, 56 and two-fifths, or make that 58 and two, 58 and two, 29 four, a dawdling clip here, Muscle King and the Cat Man putting the field to sleep. Incredible Hulk is second now. First over, Mr. Yero takes his shot there with Trevor Ritchie. Sugar Trader will try to follow him as they approach three quarters. Hell of a hush, fifth on the inside, then bet on Bob. Over by three quarters, it's still Muscle King with Mr. Yero on the outside, pressing and coming hard. Right there is Incredible Hulk who needs room out of the box. It's Sugar Trader second over, looking to fan out, and hell of a hush and bet on Bob. 128 and 1. Uh, 58 and 3, middle half for Muscle King, who will try to hold on. Mr. Yero on the outside is well meant. Mr. Yero, very game, trying to wear down. Mint Muscle King on the inside is staying game. Mr. Yero right there on the outside with Sugar Trader trying to close in. Mr. Yero, Mr. Yero with a game performance tonight. Parked the whole way there. Sugar Trader was up for second, followed by Muscle King. Then hell of a high shed, incredible Hulk. One, 55 and four fifths. more Breeders' Crown eliminations, and the man who won three trotting Breeders' Crown finals in 2000, Trevor Ritchie, has joined me. Trevor, tell us a little bit about Mount Eero. Uh, I see Dover. He was uh, he won his elimination in the slop, and then looks like he might have been beaten by the post there in the final. Yeah, and finally he had a real tough trip. He uh, had the eight hole, and he was three wide a lot of the first turn, and then he was three wide again a lot of the last turn, and two wide the rest of the way, so he won an incredible trip that night and was still trotting forward at the wire. He didn't race at two last year. Tell us about the, the qualities, the best qualities of this colt. Well, is, he just wants to go forward. He just keeps uh, going forward. You sometimes have to restrain him. He wants to go too much. But uh, he, he's, a, he's a real trier. He pulled first over. He looked pretty confident top of the stretch. Uh, I was. You know, it was cheap fraction, so I didn't know if I could be able to out-trot uh, Cat's horse or not because he raced also very well at Dover. But uh, like I said, this horse is not a coward. He, uh, he keeps going forward, so I knew he'd... Uh, He'd give him a good tussle. Is the Breeders' Crown about who's peaking at the right time, too? Um, I, I'm sure that's part of it. You know, there's a lot of luck involved. You've got to get the post and you've got to get the trip. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that a horse that's peaking at the uh, Breeders' Crown final time is, the, you know, the one to beat. Is Mr. Hero peaking? I believe he is. Okay, Trevor Ritchie, good luck next week in the final for the Breeders' Crown three-year-old sophomore trot.